Everything's where it's supposed to be, right? Yep, we're good. Hey guys, it's Sally. Welcome to... It is super sunny today, and I decide I want to film once again in my new place. And also, ignore the fact that my eyes look completely dead. I just woke up. It's 9.45 in the morning. <sighs> but usually I'd be up at 7! <laughs> hey guys, it's 7, and in today's video, I'll be not continuing my ghost story video. I will actually be telling you guys a paranormal activity that happened to me and my old best friend in the woods. So, I didn't want to continue my ghost story video yet because my phone can't take as much storage. My camera isn't working anymore, like it's just not cooperating, I need to get a new com camera, so for now on I have to use my phone to film, so you just have to ignore the fact that it's my phone. But um, also, I'll be continuing my ghost story video pretty soon, but for right now I want to tell you guys a paranormal activity that happened to my best friend and I a long time ago, but mostly to my best friend at first, and then it happened to both of us. Um. So yeah, let's get right into it. So my old friend, we're not friends anymore because she moved to California, but we always text and she, my old friend, she was really into modeling. She like really enjoyed the thought of going outside and really just taking her own modeling photos. She would take this old camera and she would bring a tripod and set it up in the woods and also in different places. Like she would also do it in like a park but this was specifically a woods that she did it in. She took her tripod and she walked up to the woods and she walked. Like, she was that type of person who was, like, adventurous. She wouldn't care to walk up a hill to go to the woods. This woods was very, like, abandoned, I guess. She really liked going to, like, the abandoned woods and stuff and, like, the abandoned houses. But this was a woods, like, no one walked in for, like, a very long time. Because, I guess, like... Lots of stuff happened in the past on this in this woods. I never read about it, but I've learned that a lot of things have happened from the past in this woods. But I remember she texted me saying that she wouldn't be able to text me because she was going to the woods and she had no service. So, banging. <laughs> this next part is really just me telling you what she said to me when she was explaining what happened. She basically told me that she was walking through the woods and she kind of it was kind of like. She told me that the outside of the woods, and here's like the entrance of the woods. So here's the entrance of the woods, here's the outside. She t was telling me how the outside of the woods was like lighter, like there was more like brightness and like sun out here. But, and like she got like no like feeling at all. She just got, felt normal. But then she said once she entered the woods, she started feeling like this weird vibe of being in the woods because she like didn't feel comfortable or something and then she kind of just ignored it and just continued on she looks for a tree to take a picture in front of I guess and this is really where it starts and the only thing about this story is that I don't have much proof because it was on our snapchat stories so I can't really tell you show you it because I didn't save any of the photos but if I had the photos, I'd to totally show you guys. Um, but she took a photo um, about to go in. And she put it on. And then she told me, like, oh, it didn't go on yet because it had no service. So she had to wait till she got out. She set her tripod down in front of, like, in a little trail, like this old trail. And she set it there. She really just took a picture of the tree. She didn't really want, like, she took a picture of the tree and then took a picture of her in front of it. She took a picture in front of the tree and then she took a picture of the tree. And this is where you can start to freak out. She was going through all the photos and then she decided to walk out to the woods and go back home. And then when she got her service, when she was outside, she texted me and asked me if she could come over. I said, of course, my parents are fine with it. She, I don't care either. You can just come over. She's like, okay, cool. I have some really cool modeling photos to show you. 
I'm the type of person where I really like to look at people's modeling photos. I'm, I kind of like, I don't like to be in modeling photos, but I like to look at them because I feel like they're really like unique. So she comes over and we sit on my bed and this is from my perspective now. This is what, from my perspective, what happened. She hands me the camera and she says, okay, you can scroll through those. And finally the Snapchat story goes through. So she's like touching through a Snapchat story while I'm looking at the photos. So, um, I'm looking at the photos and I come up to the photo of her next to the tree. When I was looking at this photo, I saw something in the background that wasn't exactly clear. It was kind of like a silhouette, but like it wasn't a clear silhouette. It was just like fade. It was like faint. You couldn't really tell what it was, even if it was, even if it was a silhouette. But she took it and then I scrolled onto the next picture of just the tree. This is where I kind of freak out and my stomach drops to the pit. <laughs> I saw a man, like it's a silhouette of a man, it was just like this man, leaning against a tree, and then it was just really creepy, it got me like really freaked out and uncomfortable. So then I look again, and it's a man leaning against the tree that she took a picture of, and it's this older man, it's like a really older man. And then next to it on the other side, because it was like one of those trees where it's like this. Well, all trees are like this, but it was a tree like that. And then one side was the man. And then on the other side, there was a little girl crying. Like, it was a girl. And this is super creepy, too. Like, it was, it freaked me out. It was this little girl. It was kind of like, you know, when, like, you, you want to keep your knees to your chest and you're just, like, kind of, like, just there and you put your head down? That's what I saw. And it just kind of flip like freaked me out more than anything because it was just like super creepy she at the time didn't realize that that was in her photo so i said hey genevieve can you look at this photo i don't think you realize something and she's like oh yeah what's up so she looked that was actually like what her voice sounds like um so <coughs> she looks at the photos and i show it to her and i say do you see anything unusual about this photo? And she looks at the tree photos and she says, no, nothing's wrong with these tree photos, what do you mean? And um, I say, look a little closer. And she looks at the individual tree and she says, oh my God. And you could tell she's in complete shock because she went completely silent after this. She looks at the picture and she says, there's someone there. And I say, yeah. So, being the weird person I am, she slept over my house. And then the next day, I decided, because we had nothing to do, to explore the place that she saw the man. Let me get a little comfortable here. <laughs> so, because we had no service and the only way to talk to each other was really just yelling at each other, we downloaded this app on the way up that is literally a walkie-talkie app. So. If one person downloads it and the other person downloads it, you guys can connect your phones together and use them as walkie-talkies. So we decided to use that since we couldn't talk. And when we made it into the woods, I started getting an eerie feeling. I felt like my stomach was turning a little bit. I didn't feel like anything good was happening when we were walking in. I felt like someone was following us. I felt like someone was watching us or just like stalking what we were doing and we walk in and we make it to the tree we didn't take her camera but we took our snapchats with us and we took photos but of course the photos would have gone through because we had no service to send them to our snapchat stories so we took a whole bunch of photos and then put them in process of our snapchat stories so we took a whole bunch of photos of this tree and then went on I turned to her and said, the only way that we can get more evidence of this ghost, if it was a ghost at the time, is if we split up. Of course, being the horror movie critic I am, I say to split up. So, she goes on one side of the woods while I go to the other side of the woods. And we use our walkie-talkies. And this is where I kind of have a heart attack. Um, she... 
saw another tree that looked kind of old and like kind of like broken down and it had like a this hole in it and she says to me wow there's this really cool tree I probably should I take a picture of it and I couldn't exactly hear it because in the background I could just hear I literally heard that in the background of her talking and it I freaked out so I was like What'd you say? And she said it again, and all I could hear was a faint, like, like I, that's all I heard. And it felt like really uncomfortable being the one on the other side, and she wasn't hearing it. So I say, Genevieve, you need to walk back, like, right now. She's like, okay, okay, I'll take a picture of this tree, and I'll walk back. She takes a picture, and she comes back, and she's like, okay, what's wrong? And I, was, I didn't want to tell her, because I didn't want to freak her out and, like, make her feel like... I set her up or something like to like go towards more towards the ghost than I was so because I was a good friend I told her what happened and she kind of freaked out and we decided to leave <laughs> we took a couple photos and then we decided to walk back so she decides to walk back she, I think she like yeah she like walks back and she's like kind of like really nervous and we took a couple more pictures of this tree then we decide to start walking back. Once we're about, like, five minutes away from the tree, we hear the most ginormous crash ever. Like, it was a super loud crash. It wasn't, like, any normal crash. Like, if you heard, like, it was literally, like, a tree falling down. So, it, <laughs> no pun intended, but it literally was the loudest crash. So, because I wanted to check out what it was, we walk back. She didn't feel comfortable with this, but she decided because she was my friend, she wanted to go with me. We walk back, and it was very ironic because when we walked back, we noticed that it was the same exact tree that the man was leaning against. And that was really something that sent us off, and we just ran. So we ran home, walked into my house, and sat on our beds and went through the snapchat stories because they finally sent through and we look through the photos and we just see this man like every single place we took a photo this man was there i remember we took a like a selfie and this is something this really freaks me out more than anything but we took a picture in front of this tree and you could see you can directly see the man like right next to Genevieve and she literally lost herself at that moment she freaked herself out more than anything this was literally the creepiest thing that has ever happened to both of us but we were so happy we were out of there and we looked at the art photos we saw the little girl in the photos we saw the man in the photos like they were just like in the photos everywhere and then we saw something new in one of the photos that we didn't see yet we saw, like, this lady, like, this old, this older lady, she was about the age of the man, and it was one of those old, like, it looked like an old photo of them, like, standing next to each other, so, basically, it looked like they were standing next to each other and, like, just, like, hugging each other. Meanwhile, this little girl is sitting on the ground, and it was super freaking creepy. It looked like a portrait. This was one of the photos we took of just the individual tree, and it was literally, like, just them standing in front of it. And I just realized that every single time we took a photo, then took another photo, it'd be them, and then they would just disappear. It was just one of the creepiest things that both of us have ever experienced in our whole entire life, and I just didn't want to go back to that woods ever again. So yeah, if you guys have any creepy experiences, comment them down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to join my community, hit that subscribe button right there. It really supports me a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye guys.